what it do divine nation thank you for tuning in to another message with me my name is alamatu your messenger of course and let's get into it so as i was meditating for you guys today oh by the way i did obviously change my uh orientation of the video just because of the way it's been uploading i don't know if it's the rec retrograde but they had me messed up they had me messed up so we're just gonna do this for now but eventually i can't wait to share my beautiful face along with you guys so that will be coming soon come soon come now having my meditation today i was just tapped into y'all and i heard a song that i haven't heard in a while and it's from a genre I don't really listen to. I'm not too sure if it's like indie rock or something. But I don't know if you guys know the band Panamore. But the channeled message I had received for you was uh, realizing they're realizing that it ain't really that fun. So the song went, the channeled song really goes, ain't it fun living in the real world? Do do do. Ain't it fun being all alone? So, there are lots of people realizing right now, divine beings, that it wasn't so fun to play with you. It wasn't so fun to play your energy. It wasn't so fun to stop you from getting the bag. It wasn't so fun because now it's like they're reaping whatever they had sown. So that song by Panamore, it also goes for you. This message also goes for you as well, divine beings. Like it said, being alone in the real world, I feel as though there's a whole new world. There's a new energy that we're all experiencing right now. So if you have been on your journey of ascension right now at this time, all the newness that is happening for you is really exciting. So have fun with that. But let's get into it. These are just going to be some oracle messages. And then we'll just, you know, flow and go as we decide to go. All right, so we have originality just coming out. We see we did flip that, the split the deck. But exactly, being your true authentic self here. Just being original and true to yourself. So like I said, Panamore was an indie, like, band kind of thing and she had like crazy super pink hair she's super sick and like just herself as well i believe she was an aquarius so definitely step out into your step out of your comfort zone at this time if you're trying to do any cool things when it comes to your look or just like um reaching out and trying to try new things in life yeah that's gonna really you're gonna find a lot of um benefit from that right now all right, and we have surrender. Yeah, there's a need for you to surrender to all this newness that is happening right now. Just have a little bit of fun, even though those around you may not be having the most fun. But you need to have fun right now because I'm getting that those who played with you were laughing and having fun before. Now it's actually the tables are turning and it's time for you to have fun. Be more lighthearted, more childlike. Tap into that energy of your you just being genuinely happy. Like, that's really what's going to send that vibration to the universe to keep blessing you. See, tenderness here. Definitely, there's a need for you to nurture yourself and take care of your your own emotions and work on some healing right now. I had a great... Okay, let me just share this with y'all. But my weekend was really emotional for one. And it was just like... It was like I was all over with my emotions. But like, it's like I needed to go through that. Oh, exactly. So we have the 39 and 40 here. See, it's like you're doing everything divinely ordered and like divinely ordered in the steps that sh they should be taken at this time. So there's a need for you to relax. As I was saying, my weekend was a little bit emotional, but it really allowed me to he do some healing and purge some some emotions that I was holding on to as well. So it really helps. And knowing that the divine nation, you know, is coming together, is growing, is prospering, really helps me as well. So thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Blessings. Blessings. All right. So we'll see what astrological energies we're dealing with for this reading. But we have tenderness. There's a need for you to really um, be lighthearted with yourself and treat yourself with more love. Also, those around you right now are feeling a little bit tender, tender hearted. So there may be some wounds that are people are realizing they had that I'm getting they're not yours. 
Let me just be real with you. Yeah. So we have Chiron here. Exactly what I was just speaking about. It was just poking his head out there. But Chiron, you know, that's the healing energy we have within us. It's it's just like, let me read that for y'all. Your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach and learn remedies. Yeah. So like I was saying, healing right now is a big, big factor of I feel as though we're all going through, especially with this shift that's going on right now. It's like having to move to a new level and leave things behind creates that feeling of you having to break free from it almost so it's like you don't want it's like just as you're about to leave somebody's like hey oh it's like if you have a job right and you're working and you have a co-worker who needs a cup needs some help with a couple couple customers just you know trying to come through and you're off shift and you're trying to clock out like do you walk out or do you help your your co-worker you know it's that kind of situation i'm not saying like you shouldn't help your coworker, but leaving and going home would be a lot more fun. And who knows? Maybe leaving your coworker in that situation possibly would have. I don't know where I was going with that, but I know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, let's just never mind that. But if you get me, you get me. All right, so any more astrological energies? All right, so we have the eighth house here. Yeah, I feel it. Feel like right here, there's a need for you to really just be tender and surrender to any news that you're finding out. So there may be a lot of picking up on secrets being revealed or just things that were going on behind the scenes being revealed to you, possibly with picking up on a Piscean energy. I'm also picking up on Aries energy as well. yeah so i feel as though there's something that was being kept a secret from you here that you're having to heal from that you're now finding out or you will be finding out but why isn't it fun spirit why isn't it fun okay we have the taurus energy could be dealing with the taurus here or there's a need for you to really step out into nature to allow yourself to really you know pick up on the vibes of what it means to really be abundance rather than materially and just monetarily abundance you know so nature would be a really good healing aspect to whatever you're going through right now whatever trouble so definitely i'm picking up on take walks right now take really connect with nature also if you if you're in this area right now or a location where it's raining still go outside while it's raining because that rain is cleansing the land and you being out there as a high vibrational being is actually helping you as well heal i'm picking up on something having to do with your dna i don't know through these rings right here so definitely tap into the energies of the outdoors that's all i gotta say that was a channeled message for somebody get outside you know get outside yeah so let's get into this main message now spirit why are they realizing it ain't fun why are they realizing it ain't fun why are they realizing it ain't fun spirit why are they realizing it ain't fun, ain't it fun? whoa the energies are wild it seems like they don't want to they don't want me to expose what they really going through huh why are they realizing it ain't really fun also feeling as though people you have walked away with are realizing that it's not so fun without you not being there so maybe you were like the life of the party at one point picking up on that or life of the workplace or you know the fun partner all right so we have the king of king of pentacles basically in the reverse here so i feel as though feel as though there may be a can uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus here energy here Taurus heavily that I'm picking up on who is possibly feeling who who either you or this person here is going through well you're going through healing is what I'm picking up on here for sure but I feel as though you're healing from something this king of pentacles had done or being in a relationship with this person so you could be divorced from this individual or no longer in contact with this person at this time and healing from the situation i feel like somebody here is struggling with their money as well why isn't it fun spirit why isn't it fun 
Why are they realizing it ain't that fun? All right, wow, we have matches actually. So we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. So we have a pair, both coming out in the reverse. So I, I don't know what this is, but it's looking like a broke couple. Not like it looks like I'm not gonna say broke couple. Okay, okay, that was a little harsh. Eh? <laughs> my bad, my bad. Okay, it's not a, necessarily a broke couple, but I feel like these are two people um, working on their finances, trying to do some healing, possibly with each other or away from each other they're in reverse so i feel as though they're not working together so yeah they're not working together so me i feel as though you may be this earth sign or the person you were dealing with is an earth sign but you guys are both taking this space and time away from each other possibly due to some divorce that you're no longer with this person or no longer dating or dealing with this person anymore but you both are there's a need for you both to heal at this time let's just that that was the point okay that was what i was trying to say there all right i was speaking too much just to say one thing damn all right <laughs> clarify the eighth house please spirit yeah there's definitely this energy of two people having to have their own space i'm picking up on distance too okay this card just okay yeah so we have the princess of cups which is the page of cups in the original tarot but I feel as though something had been revealed here behind closed, that had happened behind closed doors. Now, with it being the Page of Cups, it could have been some lies somebody was doing here because we have the Eighth House and then we have the Page of Cups here. So it could have been some lies somebody was holding due to who they were with or who they were dealing with while they were in this marriage or connection. I feel like somebody here possibly had multiple partners or just we're dealing with other people or structures. Also, I'm picking up on something having to do with the bank. So you possibly had found out something, some secrets regarding a bank or accounts. But this has definitely been revealed now. So this could be the reason as to why you both broke up or why this, this is over now. So we have the six of pentacles here. I feel as, I feel like, oh sorry y'all i feel like here i feel like here this could have definitely been a family situation or you guys could have just been very comfortable with each other i'm hearing break bread so you definitely had like spent a lot of time with this person shared meals and yeah again with the accounts so this could definitely be some secrets being revealed about some money or accounts here but they're realizing it ain't really that fun. So if you have had your money being tampered with by anybody or feel as though the numbers weren't really adding up, yeah, that's, yeah, this is, if this is your story, then that's definitely something that you should look into or something that was actually did happen behind your back. It seems as though somebody here could be a water sign. Cancer is what I'm picking up here. Getting into somebody's accounts. Or trying, or there may be a cancer here that you're dealing with that's trying to balance something out after some secrets have come out about some money. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse here, but it seems as though somebody here is still lying or not being very nurturing or kind with their words. So I feel like somebody's trying to manipulate their way out of the situation, possibly avoid what really truly happened so they don't have to take the fall is what I'm hearing now. Yeah, Empress in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Libra as well, or this could be like a wife or also I'm picking up on a mother figure as well. So if you had had children with this person, I feel as though they were, they had a way of trying to get their way and they would emotionally manipulate you manipulate you possibly with children or emotionally emotionally manipulate you with other partners that they had even though yeah that sounds really messy so we're not gonna get into that too crazy <laughs> yeah that sounds real messy all right so spirit why are they realizing it ain't fun no more why are they realizing that Seems as though somebody definitely needs some healing. Both parties actually need healing here. If you are a part of the Divine Nation, I would suggest, you know, really do your healing and clearing work right now, which is, it's very primal and just like very important to all of us at this time. Yeah, so we have the Two of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely a separation or a break here. Two people going their own separate ways. Seems as though somebody here has embarked, both people actually are embarking on a different journey for themselves. Feel as though, yeah, this is definitely being communicated with the Eight of Wands here. I feel like 
and it's being it's rapid communication too so this could be some arguments too so i feel as though somebody here was doing something secretly behind your back or trying to get away with something and it was fun for them at the time like you you got to see this like you got to see this this uh this page of cups here she's like showing the cup she's like ta-da like you see what I just did? You feel me? Like, look at what I got. So I feel as though this person was on a flexing tip. Okay, so this person was trying to flex or trying to make themselves seem like somebody they weren't really truly. And I feel as though they got caught up due to the fact that that they ultimately got seen as manipulative and also had other people running in the other direction because they weren't being very truthful about what they were, who they were, or their status here. So I'm picking up on. So again, on the status. So somebody here could have also lied about being married. Take it how it applies here as well is what I'm picking up on. Now with the six of pentacles here, I feel like also somebody here was trying to balance something out or was having trouble balancing something out. So maybe you were checking your, oh, you will check something about a balance. So check a balance or there's a balance and overdue amount of something i don't know this, this is a message for somebody out there yeah this is definitely a message for somebody out there but check your balance or something overdue okay i got my light there <laughs> all right so let's see dang well, they realizing it ain't fun. So I feel as though you've caught this person or you've seen, you see them for who they are now. You've seen that they're not original. Seems as though they were fronting or faking or acting like somebody they weren't. It's all I'm hearing. Like, you weren't who you said you were. You weren't who you said you were. It's what I'm hearing. Whoa. So this person probably portrayed themselves to be a good co-worker or a good worker or or just like a good partner in general who always had your back, could could be your ride or die. I'm not too sure here, but like they, this seems like this person really had their way of emotionally getting into other people's energy spaces to get that trust out of them, which I feel like gave whoever here the, the let's say, comp, the confidence to trust them with the, this, um, account or trust them with this this money here so this could be a baby mama here dealing with like a masculine is what i'm getting or i feel as though this could be some like some people here you were dealing with where your money was incorporated with how everything went down between you all so this could be been a this could have been a job where somebody was taking some money from you so you weren't being paid the right amount or you were being underpaid to some extent here is also what I'm picking up on. Okay. All right, so messages for the divine nation. Realizing it ain't really fun. It ain't really fun. I guess it ain't really fun to lie, cheat, and steal. In the, in the moment it was, they was happy. They was happy to do it. They were saying, ta-da. And now it's like, nah, 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 nah. We got to go, baby. Nah. This not for you. You. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'm getting Soulja Boy. I don't know why I just got Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy to me. Crank that. That's the song. Crank that. So something's being cranked up or something here is like crank i don't know take it how it applies here so definitely i feel like people are talking about this situation here we have the ten of cups at the bottom so you could have been really in a family or like a long-term relationship with this first person or just had like a business with them i feel like this is a this, everybody here i feel like there's a lot of people here talking about this breakup this split up here possibly with the water between a water sign and an earth sign i feel like a lot of people got stuff to say because it seems very shocking at the fact that something here was revealed about a like this water sign and i'm picking up on a feminine energy so who is this like seems like this person here was really just fooling they was fooling 
they was fooling i also i'm picking up on here like this person was manipulating themselves out of their emotions so it's like they were thinking two separate things like they were saying I love you, but thinking another thing, take this how it applies, this could be, you know, reverse the roles, but saying I love you, but thinking another, but then communicating something else with other people. So I feel like nobody really knew where this person stood in the relationship, which then confused you. Wait, okay, ain't it fun? Mm, I feel like somebody's getting a reality check okay somebody's getting a reality check right now is what i'm definitely picking up on so we're gonna pick up this an affirmation for y'all because it seems like y'all need it well this reading needs it look i am safe and secure in my world yeah i feel like this was what you initially felt about this person that you were safe and secure with them in your world but now you're realizing like you're better off safe and secure by yourself not to trust this person because they, I feel like they really were able to use your emotions against you. Or this person's just really, yeah. They're just really good at using emotions against people here. Dang, bruh. Bruh. That shit crazy, bruh. Can't believe they did this to a divine being. It seems like karma finna hit their ass. All right. So it says here, it says here, I know and affirm that my body is a friendly place to live. Yeah, there's a need for you to definitely go outside, tap into nature, and also understand that giving self-love is more than just, you know, telling yourself you love yourself or buying yourself the expensive things. No, it's like going outside and getting some air, you know? It's it's appreciating your body for the little mechanisms that it does countless, countless times in a day, like breathing, blinking, uh, being able to touch you know sweating even like you have to appreciate all these things therefore you know your body is something a temple that you need to show love to you need to show love to it also i know i had a subscriber here who asked for the name of this deck which is masters mystic saints and gemstones guardians cards by margaret ann limbo so definitely look into that I'm sorry I wasn't able to get to that comment, but I remember seeing it though. I just missed it. Like, yeah, you get you get my gist. You get my gist. Mercury retrograde got me, you know, stuttering and shit. But I'm here. All right. So I'm just gonna pull out this crystal gemstone oracle card here for you, just to see what energies you should be using. So I can give y'all some good vibes at the end of this reading. Because I feel like you're just finding out here that somebody isn't as trustworthy. And also, somebody's getting a whole reality check here for lying, cheating, and stealing. I guess it's fun in the moment until you get caught, huh? Like, that's really the... That's really the... The whole thing right there. Wow. So much energy. So much energy. That one came out first, so I'm going to take that. All right. So we have Azurite Malachite. Let me just show y'all it. Show y'all that. Pick Taking that energy. Taking that energy. It's beautiful. Looks like Earth. Get outside. This is a confirmation. You got to get outside. Let me read it. Are you connected with the all-knowing and all-seeing part of yourself? Allow for an unimpeded flow of the information, knowledge, wisdom that is within you. Seek out calming experiences such as meditation and visualization. Take notice of the signs, symbols, and take notice of the signs and symbols around you and contemplate their meaning. Wow. So I'm just gonna let y'all take in that energy again, and I'm also going to read the message behind. Now it says St. Anne, which is the, the master which is connected to this stone. It is, I release ego, arrogance, and vanity. Wow, I feel like this person really did everything in terms for, va for vanity looking like they were, they were sh the shit compared to everything. So it was really a big ego trip that led them to the stealing behavior. Wow. I am calming and I am at peace. My spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. Yes, Divine Nation, you get these messages. So even if you feel as though you didn't pick up on this before or you didn't know this was happening to you, you know now and you can make the proper decisions now. So don't beat yourself up about it. Get the fuck on and move on. 
That person don't deserve your energy. All right. It says, I trust my intuition and my internal guidance system. Look at that. Trust yourself. You knew, you know, and they ain't going to be fucking with you no more. I thank you so much for coming to this reading. If anything resonated, I'll catch you in another one. But for now, bye.